Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and today we continue with our topic of discussion and this is classification 2. Uh, I would like us to uh, use a dichotomous key that is already prepared because previously we learned how to construct one ourselves. But now I would like us to use an already prepared dichotomous key and then we use it to identify or we use it for identification. So using a dichotomous key. So we are given the specimens. We'll have some diagrams showing the specimens that we are required to identify. So we have uh, three, no, we have five leaves A, B, C, D, and E. And the key is already done. So the key is available. So we are supposed to use it. So the key is here. So we are given the specimens, five of them, and the key is already done. So we are supposed to use the key. This is the key that we are supposed to use for identification. So we are told that uh, the first step, we shall uh, check which leaves are simple. So A is a simple leaf, and B is a simple leaf as well. Then step B, we check which leaves are compound. Uh, leaf C is compound, uh, D is compound, and also E is compound. So the compound leaves are the ones that are divided into leaflets. And they have many leaflets. And uh, so at that point, we'll uh, construct uh, identification identification steps so we'll have the specimen then the steps and then finally the identity so we can also put that as a table So, uh, we have uh, the specimen, we have leaf A, then we have leaf B, leaf C, then leaf E, and then finally leaf D, uh, sorry, leaf D, then finally leaf E. So 
So these are the identification steps that we are creating. So for leaf A, we don't know the name, but we want to use the key there. This is a simple leaf, so leaf simple. So we take the first step, 1A. 1A, comma. 1A tells us to go to 2. So we come to step number 2, leaf blade lobed and leaf blade not lobed. So in this case, leaf blade is lobed. The leaf blade is lobed. These are, there's a lobe here. There's a lobed uh, leaf blade. So that is uh, 2A. The step 2A. And step 2A is telling us that it is bohemia. Bohemia is the identity. So here are the names of the plants are given to us, so we just use the key to identify. And then we identify leaf B, it's a simple leaf, so leaf simple, 1A, uh, go to 2, leaf blade lobed, leaf blade not lobed, the leaf blade is not lobed, it's not divided, like in this case, so that is 2B. And 2B tells us that that is a leaf from mango. Then you go to leaf C. Uh, these are compound leaf. So we start with the step 1B. We are told to go to 3. Leaflets all attached to one leaf stalk. Yes, the leaflets are attached to one leaf stalk, all of them. So that is 3A, and that is cassia. Cassia is there. Then you go to identity for D. D is also leaf compound. So 1B, go to 3. Uh, leaflets attached to one leaf stalk. No, leaflets attached to many small stalks, yes. This one is attached to many small stalks. So we have several stalks. So that is 3B. Then we are told go to 4. Step number 4, leaflets are round at the apex or they are pointed. These ones are rounded at the apex. So that is 4A. And the identity is flamboyant flamboyant and then E leaf E is a compound as well so 1B uh, go to 3 leaflets attached to many stalks 3B and then finally leaflets pointed at the apex the apex is pointed so that is 4B and this is jacaranda so we have used an already prepared key to identify some given uh, specimens. So ours was to use the key for identification by showing the specimen, the steps, and then we identify. The specimen, the steps, then we identify. So for each of the steps, we have their correct names or we have their correct uh, identities. So two questions in the assignment. The first question, what is the name given to a leaf with leaflets attached to one stalk? This is a name that we give that. B, a leaf with many leaflets attached to many stalks. There is also a name for that. And then finally, what is a lobed leaf? So we'll stop there. Until next time, uh, goodbye. <music> Thank you.
Thank you.